Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World. You'll have to forgive my voice, I have a little bit of head cold, but just like you, it can't prevent me from coming into work. So today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco J Flight 28 BHBE. This is very similar to the uh, J Flight SLX 287BHS. So if you've seen that floor plan, you'll see a lot of similarities in here but because it is the J Flight, not the SLX, it is one step up. So it has a lot nicer amenities, and we'll kind of go through that as we go through the RV. But again, floor plan construction is very, very similar. So we will start off right here on the kitchen. And one of the things you'll see is that you do have prep space over here to the side. And then right behind it, you also have this extra storage space here. Or sorry, not storage, but extra space right here, which is probably going to be used for your toaster or, uh, you know, probably more often than not, at least for myself, would be a coffee maker. So you can put that right there. You'll see your plug in right up top. So you know exactly where to plug that in at. One of the differences you will see in the J Feather over the SLX is that this one does have the backsplash in here. So it adds that nice little pop and appeal uh, to the, the eye here in the kitchen. You'll also see the upgraded faucet. It's not just a high rise, but it's actually a pull out faucet, which does really help in washing and rinsing dishes, makes it a lot easier. It's a lot more functional too. You know, if you need to fill up a pot or something that won't fit in the sink, not a problem. You can set the pot here, you can fill it up over on the side, not an issue. Still the same double bowl sink though, double equal bowl. This makes it really simple for washing and rinsing those dishes as well. And then right over here to the side is the three burner cooktop. Uh, the front one is high output, and then right underneath you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. One of the things you will notice is that the countertop here is underlit, so again, it gives it that little pop and appeal there. Underneath, you have the shelf right here in the back, so you do have some space for some cleaning chemicals there. Right down below, you'll see you have plenty of room for a trash can, so if you want a trash can in here, that's where I would certainly put it, and I personally like having one. I hate having my garbage bag hang out here in the kitchen. You'll also see instead of two drawers, it moves up to four. So you have four full extension ball bearing drawers there. Plenty of room for not just your silverware, but some of your larger utensils like your spatulas, spoons, you know, maybe if you have knives or an apple core or something like that for the kids, there's plenty of room right in there. And then right here in front, as soon as you walk in, you have a little bit of storage right there as well. You know, normally I'd use that for shoes, but this floor plan actually has uh, a better storage space for shoes. So really, whatever you want to utilize that for, you can. Right up here on the wall, this is the Jayco Quick Camp. Uh, this is pretty handy. So what you'll notice is from this remote, you can control your lights, your slides, your stabilizer jacks, um, your uh, awning itself, everything from right here. So. Uh, it's a pretty cool remote. You can take that outside as well and be able to, you know, if you're in a tight spot, maybe you're going to a uh, national campground where the sites are a little bit smaller, you can open up your slide, make sure you're not going to hit a tree or same thing with your power awning. So that's pretty handy. Right up top here is your control panel. You'll see that they hit it behind this door. So that way it's a little bit cleaner look. You can see that right there, tank monitoring panel up top. Cool thing about this one, folks, this does have your um, your DSI water heater. You'll notice you have a switch here for your LP as well as electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery as well. So, you know, if the whole family is going to be taking a shower, that can be pretty helpful. Also, you have your power awning and your slide out control in there too. And right up top here, you can take a look. Good storage up there. The shelf is built in here. So that way, you know, it gives you that natural division that you probably want. Chances are I'll be using this for plates or cups, maybe some spices, things like that. So I like the fact they put the shelf in there. It makes it very usable. You also see they added a couple LED lights up here as well as, uh, you know, this little extra piece of wood. Again, gives it that extra appeal that you're looking for and helps brighten up the kitchen space. Another electrical outlet is right over here. So if you need to plug anything else in, in the kitchen, you do have the second electrical outlet. You also have the functional hood above the cooktop with your light and fan, and then your microwave right next to that. So you move in a little bit further, you'll see you have you know, the stainless steel microwave and oven. They did the same thing here on the fridge. This is a eight cubic foot nor cold fridge freezer combo. So you can see you have lots of space in here, folks. Cut out right there, your drawer down below. Uh, I do like nor colds built right here in the US. This unit does have, or it does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. 
And then lastly, here in the kitchen, you have this large pantry. I love when uh, you know, manufacturers are able to fit this in a floor plan. This is probably your main food storage as well as the majority of your pots and pans here. I know it's a little bit narrow for some of your larger pots, but still, you know, it, it, is, it is a good extra storage area. And then right over here to the side, this will be where you hang your kids' clothes. You'll see you can hang them all up there. The hanging rod's already installed for you. And you have plenty of space down below that if you want to put like a, you know, a laundry basket there for dirty clothes, something like that, you can do so. You also have four drawers right underneath that. If you need to use it for kitchen stuff, you can, but more likely than not, you'll use it for additional kids' clothes. Right back here is your second bathroom, or your, your bathroom, sorry, with your second entrance. So I really like this. This is one of my favorite parts about this style floor plan. When you have the double bunks on the off door side like this, it allows you to have the second entrance into the bathroom here. And this really helps keep your trailer a lot cleaner, folks. You know, if you have guests that need to use your bathroom, maybe you do, the kids do, whatever, you can come right in here, do your business, and head right back out. I do have some people that freak out, you know, about having the door to the bathroom, but folks, just lock the door. He'll be fine. No one's going to walk in on you. Uh, so I do like the fact, again, that kids aren't traips in dirt throughout the entire RV. You'll also see you have the foot flush lover toilet right here. One of the things I do want to point out, porcelain bowl, folks. It makes it a lot easier to clean. You know, the plastic ones can tend to get stained over time. That's generally not the case with your porcelain. And again, you have plenty of leg room here. You see if I sit down, plenty of leg room up front, good shoulder room here as well. Right over to the side is your toilet paper holder. Uh, or, and they already installed that for you, which is cool. A lot of times your toilet paper holder will be somewhere weird and it's hard to get at. Certainly not the case there. And then right up above me here is your towel bar. Up top, you see you have your vent fan there. So if you need to quickly help uh, get some moisture out of here, you can do that. Over to this side, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet. There is storage behind that. Underneath, you have your electrical outlet here. Your sink top, you know, nice big bowl. Makes it pretty usable. Some decent countertop space. It is somewhat usable there. Hand towel ring and storage underneath. You'll also see right over here that you do have a heat duct, folks. You can see that right down there on the floor. This one does have ducted heat as well as AC all the way through. You have both of those in the bathrooms. No matter if it's a cold morning you know, or a really hot day, you will stay comfortable while you're in here. And over here to this side, folks, this is one of my favorite parts about the floor plan. Take a look at this shower. It is huge. You have the tri-slide glass door here, which again is an upgrade over the curtain. But look at how much room I have in here. I mean, I can almost hide completely behind the door here. You can turn all the way around without hitting any walls. If you're looking for a bigger shower in a bunk model, folks, this one certainly has it. You also see the hand wand here. It's an upgraded hand wand. You know, it has the brush nickel rather than your standard white one. So a little bit fancier there. You also see you have the shelves in here for your soap or shampoo. And right up top is a big skylight. Now I'm six foot, you see I don't need it for the headroom, but if you're 6'2", six 6'3", six that, that skylight there will give you the additional headroom you're looking for, plus it lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Right back here in the corner are your double over double bunks. One of the things I love about Jayco is the fact that they reinforce these bunks back here. Folks, you have 600 pound sleeping capacity on each bunks. The reason I really like that, you know, if you have two smaller kids on the bank, bunk, probably not an issue. But if you have two adults on a bunk, a lot of times, a lot of manufacturers, it can't handle the weight. You know, if it's 200 pounds, sometimes even 300 pounds, you know, it's really going to be stress in the beds. But with 600 pounds, chances are you won't have to worry about it. So if you go out on a fishing trip or a girl's weekend, you need that extra sleeping space. You can certainly have adults sleep here. And if you look, it's nice thick mattresses too. So you're not going to feel that wood in your back. It's going to be nice and comfortable. Four inch thick teddy bear bunk mattresses there. Of course, you have privacy curtains, you know, so you need to close that off for privacy. You have a window on both the top and the bottom here. This bottom one is an emergency exit, folks, so if you need to get out in a hurry, you can do that. You'll also see both the top and bottom have this net right here, as well as an electrical outlet. So the cool thing about that, most of us these days have cell phones. You need to charge your cell phone, plug it in right there. You can drop it right here in the net. You have a nice little convenient spot for it, maybe a tablet, whatever else you want to put in there. Or if it's for the kids, you know, it's a rainy day, they can sit up here and entertain themselves. They're not going to be bothering you the whole time. So I do like the fact that both bunks have an electrical outlet, LED lights on both bunks as well.
Then right here, this is pretty cool too. So you'll see they have a built-in ladder, but I really like the Jayco's ladder. I like what they've done. It's big, flat steps here, so that way it's easy to be able to stand on. A lot of times it's not the case. You have round bars, which hurt. They're hard to climb up and down. Not the case here. And the thing I really like about having this built in, folks, is if you have smaller kids while you're camping. Most of the time, in my experience, it's the little ones that want to sleep on the top bunk, right, while it's still cool. Um, you know, for us older people like myself, it's just a pain in the butt to climb up there. But, you know, when you're little, uh, a lot of times it's too hard for them to put their foot here and jump up. You know, they're too small, they can't propel themselves up in here. By having the ladder, it eliminates that. They're able to climb up nice and easy. You also have the padded top here. So when they're making their way down, they're not gonna rub their belly, you know, and, and hurt it on just a harsh piece of wood. They have the pad there. Just makes life a little easier. I know it's a small little thing, but you know, it's things I think about, you know, and, and things that I can certainly appreciate when I go camping. Right down underneath there, you'll see the electrical outlet. So if you do need to plug anything in, additional, you know, from the bottom bunk, you can do that. Or even right over here from the U dinette. You know, you have a plug in between the dinette and the sofa, I'll show you in a little bit. But if you're on this side, you have access to that one too. So let's take a look at the U dinette itself. Big U dinette here, folks. This is what you generally want when you have a bunk model because this way, you know, everyone can sit around the table. You're not bumping elbows with each other. It gives you that extra elbow room. Now granted, even though it's a much larger dinette, you can still generally only sit about four people at a U dinette because you do get some crowding in the leg space. So more importantly, again, it just gives you the elbow room and it creates a larger bed. If you have additional guests, when you drop this U dinette down, it does create a bed that is large enough for two adults to sleep in. You'll also see that you have easy access storage. You have doors on both sides that swing open, so you can see there, you know, nice and easy to get to anything under there. And this table itself, folks, this is a pretty cool table. Instead of having your, you know, standard legs, this is a removable table. You want to take that completely out and just have people sit around the couch like that, you can do that. The way, again, this does drop down and you can see the rails, it'll sit there. You can put the cushions on back to create that into a bed. You can also take this over in front of the couch and turn this into a coffee table. Now it is pretty easy to take up and down. One of the things that I do want to show you because I have people that have complained about this before, but when you get it up, it kind of locks into place. You'll see right here, this little mechanism, you actually have to pull this back like so and you'll see it locks in and that will then allow you to swing the table back down just like so. If you don't do that, it's locked in place for security reasons. So that way, you know, as you're eating, it's not gonna drop down on you. So you do wanna make sure that you move that before you try to put the table down. Right over here to the side, again, upgraded sofa. Rather than a jackknife, they went to a trifold. Uh, the cool thing about the trifolds, it does have built-in armrests, so it's nice and comfortable. But more importantly, folks, it just makes a larger bed. It's a pretty comfortable bed too. It uses the cushions of the bed itself. You can see that right there, so nice thick cushions there. That way, you know, again, you have adults that want to stay the night. They're able to sleep right here. The whole thing folds out. You'll also see that you have underlighting underneath too, again, just giving you that pop and appeal. You have windows on not just the uh, wall of the slide here, but on the sides as well. So again, it lets in a lot of natural light. You'll see these windows do open, so that way you can utilize these for cross ventilation here. You have the wall scones, which helps brighten things up there. The electrical outlet right underneath, as I had mentioned, kind of in between the dinette and the sofa there. And up top, you have some additional storage. It is strut supported as well, so it's easy one hand operation. Then right over here, uh, you have your entertainment center. Cool thing about this is it comes with the TV here in the J Feather. Uh, the J flight, I'm sorry. Um, so it comes with the TV. This is on a swivel mount, so you can swivel this around. That way you can watch it while you're in the bedroom too. So pretty cool feature. It kind of gives you some double use out of it. The multimedia center right here is your radio. It's a, it's a uh, controls the speakers both in here as well as the speakers outside. You'll notice it has an HDMI plug on there. It's Bluetooth capable, and it is a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in. Right over here, we drop this down. You see you have some plugins there for your TV. And underneath, you have some additional storage. Over to the side here, this is one of my favorite parts about this floor plan, folks. You see you do have storage up top. You have the tinted glass there, kind of helps break up the wood look. It's decent storage there. But right underneath, I love this, you have a coat rack. This is super functional. As soon as you walk in, you can take off your jacket or sweatshirt, hang it up right there. Then underneath, you have the stool here. So the neat thing about this, 
take a look at that. It gives you a hidden spot for your shoes. You can throw them all right in there. We need to go outside, take your shoes out. You can drop the stool down. You have a place to sit. It just makes it that much easier to put your shoes on. As we walk into the bedroom, you'll see right here in the center is your queen bed. I really like the bedding in the J flight as well. You know, it's nice and thick. A lot of times, so you know, when you buy an RV, you have to immediately go out and replace the bedding. It's not the case here, folks. It's actually definitely something I would continue to use. On both sides, you'll see you have a good size nightstand there, plenty of space. You know, whether you need to charge a cell phone or a tablet, you see you have electrical outlets on both sides there too. So if even if you need to plug in a CPAP machine, you can do that. You have the charging center on one side there as well with your 12 volt and two USB ports. Right up above, you have a couple different storage options. On the one side here, you'll notice you have some shelving. On the other side, you have your hanging rods. So if you need to hang up some clothes, you can do that here. Going across the top, instead of just your regular shelf like they have in the SLX, in the J-Flight itself, you actually have, uh, you know, this is covered up. You have the two doors there. That way you can just kind of hide stuff up there a little bit better. Couple LED reading lights too. Right here, as soon as you walk in, you will notice you have an actual slider door here rather than a curtain. So again, gives you that extra privacy that a lot of people are looking for. This is your swivel TV. On the back side is a mirror as well. So, you know, if you want to be able to look at yourself in the morning, you can certainly do that. Otherwise, you can flip that around and again, you can watch TV. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features of the J-Flight 28 BHBE. Right up front here, folks, it comes with a power tongue jack. This makes it super simple to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. There's also an LED light right there up front in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that, you have two 30-pound propane tanks, so definitely bigger than your standard 20s on here, which is awesome. That way, if you are camping for an extended period of time, you have the propane to heat the RV. And then it does come with the cover here as well. It's easy to get to those tanks. Just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are in. Behind that here, you'll see rails there for your battery, and then you also have the diamond plating up front to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right down here, you'll see this one does have solar prep. So again, if you're looking to do some boondocking, folks, all you have to do is buy a portable panel, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. The other cool thing about the Jayco is the tongue right here, folks, is all part of the frame. They use an integrated A-frame, so that way it helps prevent the buckling of your tongue. That's pretty great. You know, it's definitely a solid foundation on the Jayco. Speaking of construction, you will see this one has the fiberglass sidewalls here. And because it is a Jayco, it also has the Magnum Trust system. If you're not familiar with the Magnum Trust system, you know, the word Magnum, at least in my mind, automatically makes me think bigger, stronger, better. And that's basically what the roof is. A lot of manufacturers, especially in this segment, they'll use one buys for the vertical supports or sometimes just an aluminum strapping. That is not the case here, folks. They use two by twos for those vertical supports, making sure it's nice and strong. They use oversized nail plates in there. Folks, they have tested it. The Jayco roof can hold 4,500 pounds. Obviously, it's evenly distributed, but it doesn't matter. That is an impressive amount of weight. Also, the roof material itself, it's not just a standard EPDM or a TPO. They actually use Diflex 2, which is an upgraded TPO roof. It's fleeceless. It doesn't have the lining on the bottom, so that way it doesn't soak up water, which is, can be a big problem in regular TPO roofs. Plus, it still has all the advantages of TPO, the fact it doesn't require near the maintenance, and it's a lot more flexible than standard TPO as well. So a great roof system all in all here on the J-Flight. You'll see the large power awning, folks. This is a Solera awning. So you have the speakers there in the head of the awning. That way, when your awning is extended, the music is playing down on your campsite, not blasting out at your neighbors. You also have the LED light strip on there, so you don't have to get up there and hang up your own lights. You have light at just a flip of a switch, and it is very easily adjustable if you want to adjust the pitch. You just pull it down on one side or both. That way, you can control water runoff or, again, just control the pitch for extra shade. Right down here, you'll notice something, and that is the fact this one is also equipped with power jacks. So you have a power tongue jack, you have a power awning, and you have power stabilizer jacks, folks. This control right here will control the two up front. There's another one in the back controlling the rear two. Or as I would mentioned, we were inside. You can use that remote. That way, you don't even have to bend down. You can just sit right here, touch a button, and be able to operate those. Another thing that Jayco has is the key alike system right here. That's pretty cool for security reasons. A lot of manufacturers use what's known as a 751 key. 
The issue with that is one 751 key is like all the rest. So if you can get into your own pass through with it, that means someone else can too. Cool thing about the key alike system is this is the same key for all of your baggage doors as well as your entry door, and it is unique to your RV. That way you won't have someone in the middle of the night, you know, trying to be malicious coming in here and stealing things out of your RV. If you take a look inside though, you'll notice you have access from both the door side as well as the off door side there, and you have access underneath the bed too. The bed has struts, so you can just lift it up and get to whatever you need to in the pass through. This one has plenty of electrical outlets on the outside. You have two right here. You have two a little bit further down. So if you need to plug anything in, you know, maybe you want to set up a table with electric griddle on there, you just need to charge a cell phone. You can do that at either place. Three foldable steps here make it nice and easy to get into the RV. And then again, you get the upgraded um, easy grab handle here. So this one is foldable, but I like the fact that it extends out a little bit more than your standard grab handle. It gives you just a little extra control. If not very first step, you can grab this nice and easily. And then again, as I said, you have the control when you're entering or exiting. Frameless windows on here as well. Now, I know frameless windows look nicer, but also the seals are tucked behind the glass. They're not getting as beat up by the elements. And because of the way they open, they essentially tilt open at the top, it allows you to leave these windows open even while it's raining. That way it doesn't get all stuffy inside. You can still get some airflow coming through. Right here is your fresh tank fill. If you're looking again to do some boondocking, you'll definitely want to fill your fresh water tank. That's where you'll do it. And right next to that, again, as I had mentioned, this is your second uh, set of electrical outlets. So you definitely have plenty of electrical outlets outside here. If you look at the wheels, you have nice aluminum alloy wheels there. You know, granted, they're a little bit dirty right now because you pull them in from the lot. But either way, they do still look great, especially when they're clean. Nitrogen filled tires there, too. The great thing about the aluminum alloy wheels, folks, is the fact that aluminum doesn't rust. So they will stay looking nice for years to come. Right back here, this is the secondary entrance into the bathroom. This one just has your standard grab handle, but chances are you probably won't be using this one as often. Again, just when someone needs to go in to do their business, but you still get the three foldable steps. Right down here, something else I do want to show you again, you have this uh, power jack right here, but more importantly, I want to show you this right over here, and that is your propane quick connect. If you take a look on the back, you do have a mount here for a grill, so that way you can just swing this out and around. You can be cooking back here, plug it into that propane quick connect. That way it's feeding off those two 30 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring the small little green ones. You also have the spare tire mounted to the bumper back here. Cool thing about that is it's probably one of the easiest places to get to a spare. It also has the cover on there, which again means it should be in good shape if you ever have to use it, which hopefully you don't. Also back here, you have your city water inlet and a black tank flush. This is a great feature to have. It makes it a lot easier to wash out your black tank. You're done camping instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to make sure all the, pa all the paper clears out of your black tank. Now you can just hook it up right here. It has sprayers built in and it will rinse it out for you. Outside shower here as well with both hot and cold water access. You have the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the roof. Again, because it is the Diflex 2, it doesn't require uh, near as much maintenance. However, there is still lap sealants up there, and that will eventually go bad after a couple years. So you do want to get up there, you know, probably once or twice a year, just to do some basic examination. You'll also see right there in the center, folks, you have backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep does make it a lot easier to uh, have that installed, meaning it will save you a lot of money on labor. Take a quick look at the off door side here. You'll notice a couple other things. One, you have your 30 amp power cord right here. Just pulls out, pushes back in nice and easy. Water heater over here to the side, as I mentioned inside. That one is, uh, does run off both propane and electric. You can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. And right over here, you have more storage. This is underneath that rear bunk, but great extra storage back here. All right, folks, again, that wraps it up. And this is the 2018 Jayco J Flight 28 BHBE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.